my research concept is a passive robotics. I'm doing the research on cycling wheelchair. So cycling wheelchair is a bicycle-like uh, wheelchair system. So that we, by adding the robot technology, uh, we can support the uh, moving of the elderly people or the handicapped people in outdoor environment. It is important for user uh, to feel that the system uh, is used by themselves. So this is a very important thing. My research concept is a passive robotics. So in general, many robotics researchers have proposed uh, uh, many robot system, but uh, these robot system are controlled by sub-motors. So sub-motor is active actuators. But uh, when we focus on the uh, human support, the safety is the most important issue. So if we utilize the sub-motors, and then if we cannot control the sub-motor appropriately, these system moves unintentionally. So this situation is a very dangerous situation. Uh, so we propose the uh, uh, robot system without using any sub-motors, which is active actuators. So at first, we focus on the passive system, which has not have uh, any sub-motors, active actuators. And then we control the robot system by using the brake system. The driving force of this system is a uh, human applied force. And then by controlling the brake system, we can realize uh, several kinds of motion of the robot system. So that uh, this is a very safe system because uh, if human don't touch the robot system, this system doesn't move. So that uh, we propose uh, this kind of uh, safe robot system. And then we can realize the uh, uh, wheelchair system, uh, walking assist system, and so on. And now we expand this kind of system to the another kind of applications. I'm doing the research on cycling wheelchair. So cycling wheelchair is a bicycle-like uh, wheelchair system. So many people think that a patient who have disability of lower extremity cannot pedal, uh, but uh, many patients can pedal by themselves. So uh, this kind of person cannot walk, uh, but this kind of person can pedal the cycling wheelchair. So this is a very surprising issue. So, uh, so we'd like, but the uh, accurate control of the uh, pedaling is uh, very difficult. So that uh, we, by adding the robot technology, uh, we can support the uh, moving of the elderly people or the handicapped people in outdoor environment. For example, when the, there, there is a step or there is an obstacle, the, this wheelchair or another kind of walking support system can stop. The, uh, can stop. Or if the, this system can estimate the human behavior or human intention, we can change the function of the robot system. So for example, uh, by using the walking support system, a uh, human can stand up. Uh, based on the support of the wheelchair, uh, sorry, uh, based on the walking support system. So, uh, for example, if the walking support system does not control, the walking support system is easy to move. So in this case, the when humans stand up, so it's a little bit dangerous uh, because uh, this support system moves unintentionally. But uh, if the robot can estimate the human intention, the walking support system can stop in uh, appropriate situations, uh, such as a holding tendency or a sitting situation and so on, uh, so that uh, we can uh, realize uh, several assistive functions and uh, uh, we can improve the performance of the human being. When we focus on the assistive robot system for supporting the elderly people or handicapped people, uh, we should not give the many support to the uh, to them uh, because uh, 
they have uh, many remaining abilities. So if the human, uh, if the robot supports all of the things, the remaining ability would be decreased. Uh, so to overcome this problem, we should give the small support of the uh, patient or elderly people uh, so that uh, human robot collaboration is a very important thing and the uh, robot uh, should support a small thing and then uh, it is important for user uh, to feel that the system uh, is used by themselves so this is a very important thing i think many people think that the robot is a, a human-like robot, for example, a humanoid-type robot system. I think this is a very nice robot system. Uh, but uh, uh, my definition of the robot is a system consisted of actuators, uh, sensors, and controller. So most of the conventional system has uh, actuator, sensors, and controller. So that uh, I think that uh, most of the conventional system would be a robot system. So for developing the human type robot system or another kind of robot system, we have proposed many kinds of uh, many kinds of robot technologies, such as uh, uh, control technology, uh, sensing technology, of course AI technology, and so on. Uh, so that uh, we'd like to implement these kind of technology to the conventional applications, conventional systems, or we. Uh, integrate the several systems. So system integration is a very important thing. So as a result, uh, most of the uh, function of the most of the system would be increased, uh, improved. So, and then uh, I think uh, after 10 years or 20 years, there is no change. A scene of this life is not changed, but the most of the performance of the most of the system would be increased. Many people think that uh, robot take a job, <laughs> so this uh, so that uh, many people are afraid about the robot technology or AI technology. So, uh, but I think so when we focus on the uh, assistive robot system, uh, there are. Uh, uh, the patient or elderly people has uh, any remaining abilities so that the robot uh, should support the small part of the uh, uh, lack of the ability uh, so that I think the most important uh, thing is the human first. So after that, uh, robot should support the uh, lacking part of the human being. So, so that the human robot collaboration is a very important. So, and then uh, by adding the, uh, by using the robot technology system, uh, the human can enjoy more life or a human can uh, do the many things. How do you feel about the way robots are portrayed in movies? Yeah, uh, I think the, it's, it's a kind of fiction, um, but the, uh, sometimes uh, for creating the, this kind of movie, the robotics researcher collaborate with the uh, 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 director of the uh, movies. So this kind of collaboration is a very important thing, and uh, I can see the uh, new vision uh, so that uh, we can create the new system. So from the movie, we inspire the new technology. Of course, the uh, uh, movie is inspired by the robotics researcher or by the technologies. So th this collaboration or, uh, is a very important thing. Yeah. But often the image of robots isn't positive at all in Hollywood movies, for example. I, I think this is a difference of the culture. So in Japan, uh, many, uh, when I was a child, we have a lot of animation, uh, robotic animation, and uh, many people watch uh, this kind of robot animation, and then uh, many Japanese people like uh, robot system. So, but I heard that uh, uh, the person in the United States uh, don't like the robot system. So robot has a very dirty, uh, dirty, well, dirty system or something, uh, so that, uh, uh, Many people in the United States or European people don't like the uh, accurate uh, robot system, but uh, 
in Japan, uh, many people like a robot system, and uh, we, uh, we hope that uh, we'd like to uh, we'd like to live together with the robot system. Do you think Japan has a cultural advantage in developing robots? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. So I think Jap Japanese people like a robot system so that um, uh, many people can accept the, accept the use of the robot system. So of course, uh, uh, many people expect the humanoid type robot system. Uh, so, so even if we can develop the human robot system, uh, many Japanese people can accept uh, these kind of things. So as a result, uh, maybe t uh, 20 years ago, uh, many robotics researchers have developed the human robot system, and the Japanese people enjoy the, this uh, uh, performance of the robot system. So, but uh, we have to uh, improve the performance of the human robot system. Uh, and of course, uh, for creating the hum human robot system, we, we can propose uh, several robot technologies. And then these kind of robot technology could be applied to many kinds of applications. So as a result, all of the people can accept the uh, benefit of the robot technology. So of course, uh, 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 the person in the United States or European people don't like the, uh, may, may not like the uh, robot system, uh, but uh, this is a humanoid type robot system. Uh, I think uh, many people like a Roomba uh, cleaning robot, so this kind of robot system can, ac can be accepted for all of the people. So now we are doing the research on the cycling wheelchair or uh, uh, walking support system. I think uh, most of the uh, people can accept, uh, can have a benefit from this kind of robot system. <laughs>